All right, guys, welcome to your uh, weather patterns lab day two. Today we are working on map B, so make sure everyone is on the correct map, all right? We're on this guy, map B. It's all on the same map, but just make sure you're on the correct one because they are labeled uh, differently over here on the side, okay? The first one was said isotherms. Right, if you remember correctly, this is temperature. This one's talking about pressure. Okay, um, on this one, we're gonna be making isobars. All right, because now we're talking about pressure, and it says to label the high and low pressure areas with a capital H and a capital L. Now, my advice to you is to do this one. Is to do this as one and this as two because you can't really label the high pressure center and the low pressure center until you have the lines okay now if you read it carefully it says use a pencil lightly draw the isobars between the points of equal pressure use four millibar intervals and you're going to go from a thousand and four to ten twenty four all right, counting up by four millibar intervals. Now, if you remember correctly, on a weather station model, that is in coded form. All right, so every single one of these, you have to convert. All right, so just a little practice. When you're taking a station model, just remember if it's, oh, if it's uh, 500 or more, that gets the nine in front. If it's less than 500, it gets the 10 in front. And then you have to add the decimal. And then you have to add the unit. Okay? So for this one, 0, 2, 1, that is definitely less than 500. So I put a 10 in front. I add my decimal between the last two and I add my unit. So this would be 1002.1 millibars. And to do the opposite way, you do the opposite. You get rid of the nine or 10 in front, you get rid of the decimal, you get rid of the unit, so that you're left with one, three, four, okay? So let's figure out what lines we're gonna have to make. So this is our setup. Right, we gotta go from 1,004 to 1024 um, in terms of lines. Now, again, on the map, it's station model, so let's convert all of these. Get rid of all the tens, get rid of all the decimals. So this is gonna be this, this is this, 120, 160, 200, and this is gonna be 240. So now we know what numbers to look for on our map. Okay, so here we go. Let's go make our lines. So over here, I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see well. Um, and I am going to make this just a little bit bigger. Okay, so we are going to start by making the, um, let's go in order. Let's make the 040. So remember in a station model, pressure is in the top right, okay? Top right. So let's find all the 040s. 040. Okay, looks like there are three right? Like this. So this is not going to be running off the page. This is going to be making a circle. So, and it's going to be going like this. Okay. So that's our 040. Now let's make our 080. So find all your 08s. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one, uh, little rock. Okay, so 
Again, it's going to be making a circle. Be careful where you run your lines, right? So we're going to be going like this. Okay, so that's our 080. Now we have to make our 120. This one's going to be pretty big, right? So 120, 120. Um, here's 120. 120, 120, 120, 120. I think that's it. So pretty big circle here. We're gonna go, make sure you run your numbers carefully. So make sure you go in between Atlanta and Charleston. Connect, go up, go up, come around. Now we gotta come back down. Make sure you run in between here, like that. Okay, so right here, this is the first three. I'm going to let you guys bang out the other two. I'll give you a hint. It's going to be on the other side of the country in its own system. Okay, so look, this was 120. This was the 080. And this was the 040 line. Notice that the numbers are getting lower as you go towards the center, okay? We went from, if we converted this, this is 1012, this is 1008, this is 1004. If the pressures are getting lower as you move to the middle, then that tells you that this is a low pressure system, okay? So your high pressure system is going to be on the left side and you're going to do the same exact thing that we just did. Only now you're going to look for these guys. You're going to look for the 160, you're going to look for the 200, and you're going to look for the 240 over here on the left and then label it with an H. Okay, as far as the questions are concerned, how do the isobars appear? They're not running off the page, they're making circles. Which city has the low pressure center? We could do that one right now because we just did it. That's right by Cincinnati, right? So we said this one, they're in circles, and then this is Cincinnati. I think I spelled that right, I don't know. Okay, high pressure center you can do, where's the highest pressure? So highest pressure, so for this, you're gonna look at an individual station model. And this one is the highest isobar. So this is, you're looking at the highest line. So even though five and six are both asking for the highest, the difference is that five is talking about an actual station model. Six is talking about what's the highest line that you made, okay? What's happening to the pressure as you go from Salt Lake City to Los Angeles? You got to make your lines to do that. And gradient. So Little Rock to Galveston. Um, make sure that you convert first before you go and try to do this. Okay, so uh, you guys can handle day two. I did half of the map with you, so uh, you should be good to go. All right, do a good job, keep it neat, and uh, 